Well, Richard Glossop has had almost 18 years of hearings, trials, appeals. He's had three stays on his execution. They took it all the way to the Court of Criminal Appeals, and they had a two-week stay that just was ruled on yesterday saying the execution should go forward. It's the law of the state of Oklahoma. My job as a, as, as a governor is just to make sure the law is carried forth. And they have another opportunity. They want to take it up to the U.S. Supreme Court to do that. But time is running out. And we also have to remember that there was a crime committed. Richard Glossop is not innocent. He did participate in the crime. It's just there's a disagreement as to what his sentence was when he was given that many, many years ago. But he is a guilty man of a crime. Governor, I know you feel like bro you probably feel like a broken record, but this is a question that's been brought up to us a lot. It uh -huh. seems viewers have a concern about the bigger picture beyond the Glossop case, and I think it's worth asking you of all people. Sure. Do you believe in the Oklahoma criminal justice system enough, or do you believe that under any circumstances that they are capable of mistakenly having someone wind up on death row? Now that's why we have the system that we have in our nation, and certainly here in Oklahoma, is we have a system in the criminal justice system that you have appeals, that you can take it to different levels of courts, that you have stays of execution. You have all these different systems built in for anyone who's accused of a crime. And we certainly want to make sure that our system is fair, and then we have juries that are capable, and that we certainly have great DAs and judges in, in our systems, great Supreme Court, Court of Criminal Appeals. But everybody should be given a fair trial. The, many juries, many courts have ruled that Richard Glossop had a fair trial and they have stood by their opinion many, many times. But in general, you know, I have been talking about uh, justice reform in the state of Oklahoma, especially for those who have drug convictions, who have substance abuse problems, who may have mental health issues or who have been veterans, they may have had some type of post-traumatic stress syndrome, that they may have committed a crime. And we have done some reform this past year in our criminal justice system. And so we'll continue to look at criminal justice reform. I will say I still believe in the death penalty, which is the current law of Oklahoma, and I still believe in justice for the victims that have suffered so much in horrible crimes like murder. Governor, we have time for probably one more question. Okay. Governor, obviously executions in the state have been highly scrutinized since Clayton Lockett watched internationally. With this coming up in the next 24 hours, how do you just, not as governor, just as a person, how, how do you feel? Are you nervous about tomorrow? What What is the feeling going forward with the possibility, as some argue, that this man is innocent? Well, I have confidence in our system throughout the United States, and certainly I appreciate the different groups that always look to see if there is anything else that may not have been brought forth in a trial. They have their opportunity, they have a system that they can present that information. Um, certainly there is some anxiety throughout the state right now because this has been, this particular case has received a lot of national um, press because of anti-death penalty groups. And they are truly what they are, anti-death penalty groups that do not support that. But once again, it's a law of Oklahoma there have been victims in this particular case, certainly a, a, a family of five children lost their father, a, a wife lost her husband in a horrible, horrible crime, and the system has, has played through itself and will uphold the law in Oklahoma. Thank you, Governor.